All right, let's get right back to our 10 at 10 and story number four. If you're flying internationally this summer, don't put off getting or renewing your passport. On your side, Christine Lazar joins us now to explain why passport wait times are even longer than ever. Christine, what's going on? Well, Amy, I remember I got my new passport. It arrived on March 16th, 2020. Oh. And I thought, oh man, will I ever get to use it again? And I think a lot of people now, you know, we're coming out of the pandemic. People are feeling good, feeling free again, and everybody wants to fly internationally. And what that means is when demand goes up, you know, the government's struggling to uh, support that. Now, international travel is expected to surpass pre-pandemic pre-pandemic levels this summer, but if you haven't already applied for your passport, either new or renewed, you might have to wait until the middle of or the end of summer to fly. It needs to be the original only. The line at the passport office in Van Nuys stretched around the building. Christine Gallagher got here before it opened and still had to wait hours to be seen. She tried to avoid this by booking an appointment online. It's impossible. It's like some weird Kafka circle that you just go around it. And then I got onto the site and there's no appointments available. The State Department is processing a record number of passports, up to 500,000 each week, which is about 30% more than last year at this time. It's largely due to the pent up demand for international travel as people are really feeling like we are back to normal. But passport wait times are anything but normal. Katie Nastro is a travel expert with Going.com. Wait times have jumped not once, but twice since February of this year. It will take anywhere from 10 to 13 weeks for standard processing, which used to take six to nine weeks. If you pay $60 to expedite your passport, the State Department says it will take seven to nine weeks, about twice the time it used to take. And that doesn't include the time it takes to mail it to the agency and then receive it back. Deborah Adler is hoping to travel to Ireland this summer. I'm hoping to get a passport in time to travel at the end of June. Do you think you'll make it? I'm not sure. <laughs> so what happens if your passport doesn't arrive in time? If you have proof of international travel within the next 14 days, you can get an emergency passport, but that's not an easy process either. If you are needing to travel, within that 14 day period, you know, you do have to go in person for an in person consult and there are no guarantees that there will be appointments available. If you already have your passport, you'll want to check the expiration date. Some countries will not let you fly there if your passport is set to expire soon, anywhere from one to six months from the date of travel. And you don't mm. want to find that out when you're already at the airport because they will not let you on that plane. I was just thinking I need to check mine because we were in a lockdown and I didn't use it. And yes. now I'm thinking, ooh. Is and I keep time? reminding people for the kids, I think it's under 16, they're only good for five years. So if you got your child a passport, pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. you may be hitting that expiration date really soon. And actually one of our producers said she got her passport at the library back in January. Mm -hmm. And she said it was so nice. It was an easy experience. So we went online, no appointments there until July. Wow. So if you have time, I say go on now, make your appointment if you have, you know, some wiggle room and just get it done. If your passport is gonna expire within a year, I would make that appointment and just get it done so you don't have to worry about it. All right. Or Christine. wait in line like all those people. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. KCAL 9 is now KCAL News. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news. Streaming wherever, whenever.